Busy mums who have more peekaboo time than FaceTime, I totally get ya. So I'm doing a super quick makeup look today using my Ultimate Kabuki brush from The Face by The Skincare Company with my CC cream by The Curtis Collection. It's something so quick and easy, the brush does all the buffing and the blending for you and the CC cream gives you that still fresh skin look but a little bit more polished and just a little bit more um, slightly covered than what you would normally so enough for me to feel like I can definitely go out the front door without having a full foundation on. I'm now going to do my eyebrows of course. It's so small. I've gone through this um, brow blender by the Curtis Collection so quickly because I'm obsessed. Um, you guys obviously if you don't do your brows normally that's fine. You can totally skip this part. I think my brows are usually the longest part of my makeup routine but I am just quickly buzzing through it there. I'm not doing a, too much of a brow today because I'm just trying to keep this super quick and simple but just combing it through and brushing it in so it's all soft and even. So next I'm going to use my Sun Goddess Baked Bronzer from Curtis Collection. Love this bronzer, it gives such a beautiful glow. I'm using my Sigma Tapered Face Brush, the F25. Um, I like the tapered because it helps me contour just that little bit more than using a bigger fluffy brush. So just dusting this all over my face to set the CC cream, but also just to give me a healthy natural glow. You can use this as blush, um, but as usual, I need something a little bit pink, so I'll do that in a sec. Um, I'm also gonna use this bronzer today with my Sigma E25 blending brush as you can see there and I'm not doing an eyeshadow look but I'm just creating a very subtle little bit more shape to my eye than what I've got naturally so just buffing it in the corner you've seen me all do this before um, but I normally use a different bronzer it's a lot darker this is just very very subtle to make my eyes look a little bit more awake so just buffing it in I'm shaking the table a bit there, I apologise if it's a little bit shaky. And just buffing that on the lower lids also. You don't need to wear a lot, it's just making quick and easy, but so you don't look like death, because that's half the time what I look like when I'm just at home being a mum. So my favourite mascara, Max Factor 2000 calories, can't go wrong, top and bottom. Do one coat if you want, you can do two coats, whatever tickles your fancy. Always hit my bottom lashes just because otherwise I have not as much balance as what I like. I need, need to have wide open eyes other than top heavy eyes, if that makes any sense. I do ramble a bit, so bear with me. When I'm not wearing a lot of eye makeup, you really want to hit the base of those eyelashes. That's why I pull my eyelid up, just so I've got more control. There's nothing worse than having the little fair white um, base of the lashes coming out to your black mascara tips of the lashes. So that's why I do that. And I just need two coats. Just to give me some eyes. So I'm going to use a cream blush today, just an NYX one, you can pick that up at Target. I love this because you can use it for your cheeks but also for your lips. So I'm just trying to keep this video all about minimal products, minimal brushes. So I'm just blending that in with my fingers and if you put a little bit too much like I did, no worries, just grab your Kabuki, your foundation brush and just buff, buff away the excess. It blends the edges a little bit more as well. And applying it straight onto my lips just to add a bit of color and basically blending where I need to and this look I wear all the time because it's so simple and it's you know it's not a big heavy makeup look but I don't look like death it gives me a little bit of life which is what I need most of the time so give it a go and let me know what you think